still got time with 15 seconds left as we go forward up towards Mitchell. Thump away from him. Robertson does well. Fins off one player. And Melbourne have it wide open here. Could be their chance for a goal. Cameron Bruce has run inside 50. Gets it over to Green. The left foot is a beautiful kick normally. And he does it. He puts it through with one second left on the clock. And that is a final goal for Melbourne. Throw in, the Hawks are lifting, there's no doubt about it. As Whelan, though, for Melbourne, gets a little handball going. Robertson does it well, pushed it out in front. Beat Dixon to the ball, got it out the walls, got the handball on to McDonald. And Robertson kept running, he might get it eventually. Here it is. Can he get it? No, he can't. Brown does better, redeems himself with the four. At the fizzle, here's a chance now for the Demons as they go forward. Lee and Chelly's kick was a beauty. Straight down the throat of Green, and here's a beautiful kick of the football. Probably too far out, 45 Metres out, he's kicked one goal three. Well, this will tell you, because he is a good kick of the footy. I'll tell you, I've been very impressed with his, his Clint Bizzle. Yep. He makes the right decision almost every time. He, he hasn't had a hell of a lot of the footy, but uh, he's still been very polished. 14 possessions is just a nice, neat return. Between the two 50s, the two actual 50s on the ground, that little arc there, the, the wind does play a lesser role so he can kick straight at the goal from here and does and puts it through. Uh, he just defied logic. Two important ones into the wind. And a good response to by Melbourne. In fact their half back line I reckon Gary has been under pressure uh, for most of this quarter and they've responded pretty well. Yeah absolutely and um, it was just a bizzle handball early. We just saw it then he he held it for a fraction of a second, which meant that the two Hawthorne defenders had to come to him and then slipped it through. And uh, that that might just debunk all the theories, that kick. I mean, Eddie's point is valid. So was Todd Curley's according yeah. to Todd. Well, Melbourne have absolutely run them ragged, the Hawks, today. And they're going to, I think, give them a nice old touch-up here as the ball comes up towards Neitz. Recovery. Got it forward, here's the chance, 2 on one McDonald can run into the open goal, it spills nicely, Green. Kicks his third. This is a handy weapon to have behind your number one weapon. Brad Green. Green coming in behind Neitz is uh, dangerous. Yeah, he's, a, he's a terrific natural f full forward in, in, in that he leads very well, times his leads well. And he's a beautiful finisher, so... What about his recovery here? Yeah, and getting boot the ball was just the important thing. Mc, James McDonald only knows one way, and that is straight at it. He calls the spill. That's a nice, polished finish. Five straight. There are the scores. Level. Graham. All players understand the urgency. Brown had no idea where it was. It come off his head. But he got it the second time. Care has been marked. Green, Green. Brad Green. Best Green kick in the Melbourne side. Has got it. Brad Green has kicked three goals today. He is the best kick in the Melbourne side, Gary. Left footer. Three goals, four in fact. And this is a tough kick. Almost <laughs> revisits the Steve Kernahan kick of uh, many years ago where all he had to do was kick a point to get a win. Well, I think uh, with a minute 25 on the clock, you want to kick a goal, well, uh, obviously a goal, but a point might be... Worst case it? scenario, would, well, not worst case, but a very dangerous case scenario. Give it back to Five yeah. metres inside the boundary line, he's got to cover 40 in distance, that might be a problem. Kick on its way to win the game for Melbourne! He has nailed it! Green's kick four! There's a minute and eight seconds in the game remaining... Demons back in front. What a kick. Oh, you want to put that down to pressure kicks, then um, put that one right up there. Because, oh, there's still plenty of time left, but, uh, gee, and the, the kick from Nathan Brown coming in was nice too. Just good touch, good mark, and what a finish from Brad Green. Well, that's as good a kick as you see ever a goal in a pressure situation. He, knew, he liked it from the moment it came off the boot, Eddie. He was off celebrating. He knew exactly where it was going.